We now have several elements that we associate with the development of early homo. Several key traits, larger brains, smaller teeth, better diets, the use of stone tools, larger body size, larger home range size. All of these together can form an integrated model of understanding the origin and development of the earliest members of our genus, the genus Homo. If we think about these, we can see a unified model where the divergence of Homo from the Australopithecine lineage has to do with a fundamental ecological transition. The questions then become, what are the important precipitates of this process? How does this process begin? So, in other words, what would be the first changes we'd expect to see in the fossil record? This is important because recall that identifying the earliest members of any new lineage are a challenge because we need to have a model that generates predictions about what the first changes should be. For example, if we wanted to infer that larger brain size was the critical driving factor, that larger brain size allowed for stone tools, allowed for different kinds of ecological or dietary changes, then we would expect to see the earliest evidence being, or at least to predict, that it would be larger brain size, expanded neurocranium, expanded cranial vaults. On the other hand, if we think the key driving factor is a change in ecology associated or facilitated by the development of stone tools, the first changes we might expect to see are first the appearance of stone tools, but also perhaps changes in the hand morphology or the dietary and dental ecology associated with what those stone tools are doing. So developing and having a clear model as to why early Homo came to exist, or why Homo began to evolve away from the Australopithecines, is necessary to generate the proper predictions so that we can actually test these models in the fossil record. As it stands right now, the best supported model by the fossil record is that the evolution of stone tools, their first appearance, and the associated ecological changes are the key driver in our lineage. This, however, remains a hypothesis and something that's subject to future revision given further discoveries, perhaps earlier stone tools, or earlier evidence of fossils that show expanded brain size, or perhaps earlier evidence of expanded body size. Any one of these characteristics might serve as predictions that can be tested in the fossil record to either reject this model or develop a different model that better fits our observations. All in all, however, this origin of the genus Homo is perhaps the most important evolutionary transition in terms of the appearance of humans, the beginning of a human lineage or a human ancestor that's fundamentally human-like as opposed to our Australopithecine ancestry.